Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm down at my allotment again. It seems like I'm spending more time down here than I am in my garden. I've still got things in my garden like my potatoes, some pumpkins and um, different things in my garden. But um, the allotment's taking up um, more of my time. I come down here every other day and all I'm just trying to do now is just try to keep on top of things now. You saw I strum, strum the grass the other day and you can see how fast it grows back up again. So that's going to be something what I've got to constantly keep an eye on over the summer period. When it gets too hot, I just come out and um, bring the strimmer down and strim. So today I've got a few plants to, different plants to plant out. So um, I've got um, these rose bushes in, what you saw me do the last time. And I said I wanted to put some more so that all, when these start to grow up, then I've got um, a nice covering of um, just um, rose bushes. As you can see there, I've got a white one, red and pink, but um, it's just what I get at the time, so I'm not really bothered. It's just something to make the place a little bit more good looking. So I've got some peonies and different things what I got um, yesterday. So I said I wanted to put um, some along this place, this area here. So that's what I'm going to do now. So what I've got to do, I've got to sh scrape back um, this manure. Because I had manure down here before, but I will notice from the other day that they haven't been dropping off the manure how they used to drop it off. Because they used to drop it off all the time and there used to be piles and piles of it. But I noticed from the other day now that they've not been dropping a lot. Right, so I'm going to dig a couple of holes. I think what I might do, I might put a peony here and put... Um, rose bush and a rhodod rhododendron here and then i'll be back with you in a minute right everyone so i've got the first old dog and this is a um, peony what i got yesterday um, a good friend of mine um, when he gets the uh, plants what's um he can't water everything so what he does he sells them off cheap so like these now i've got a net for the for even less than a, um, a dollar. <laughs> Got these like for 50 pence each. So they I came, brought them yesterday, I watered them. You see the water's dried out. But um, they usually come back. This is a um, peony and I've got a rhododendron. I've got some plants in my car, what, what I want to put in there as well. Right, so that's a peony there. I've got um, some of the seeds what you use for bees. I've got a box in the car what I'm going to sprinkle, get it grown in between until when these establish, get some life and movement going in, in here. So I'm going to dig another hole and I'm going to put um, that um, rhododendron in there. Now this is an hydrangea. I thought there were rhododendrons there. They're hydrangeas. This is a flamingo, hydrina flamingo it says. Right, so that one's going in there. I wanted to put three here, but I don't know if I'm going to get one in that corner there. These spread out after a while, they're spread out. But I've got quite a few to plant, so I'll be back with you in a minute. I'm just thinking what to do. Right everybody, so I've dug three holes. I'm putting one of these peonies in here and I've got a, um, one of these, um, I, this is a I, hydrangea again. That's a red rose. I don't know what colour roses I've got. So I'm just going to put another one in there so, so that I get a nice big bunch of roses in the middle and then the two I've got magnolia there, there, and then I've got um, rhododendron there as well. So 
I'm just going to put those there for now. I've got mint, mint up this in this section what I want to leave although I need to try and get it weeded up a bit and cut down some of it. Gonna fill this one in because that's where this one's going and then I'm gonna get a rose bush and then I'll be back with you in a minute. Right everybody so I've got all that done and I've just mulched it in with some uh, mulch what I've got around just to make it look a bit neater. Just levelling it off now. Just need a bit, little bit more for that corner bit there. So like I said, on, on our allotment, they usually drop this off at the front or over near the compost. They haven't dropped off any for a while now, so I'm just using my piles what I've got. Then I need to get some in this corner as well. So that's some of them planted I've still got. We'll just call it two of each left. What I need to get out of the way. And um, once I've done that, then I can go on to something else. Right, so I've got um, my pots here. I'm going to fill these up with um, some compost my pots i've got some compost and some koi as well so just gonna make i've got some koi already made but i still want to get more so gonna do that and then i'll be back with you in a minute sorry about the airplane noise in the background you know how it goes down there already so i'm gonna put some more koi koi in there so i've got enough and then i'm gonna fill up the these buckets and then I'll be back with you in a minute. Right everyone, so I've got um, some koi and some compost. I'm gonna mix this in, cause I need mostly koi in here. Right, and into this, I always said I'm gonna, you, you're all getting treated on this channel. I've got some of these. These are called um, pepper, pepino melons. I've got 12 of them. I'm not going to be planting all of them. I was meant to give some away. I was meant to give some away, but um, they didn't remember to take them. So I'm going to be putting these bush up. So I'm only going to be putting two, two in a pot. I'm going to put two in this pot and I'm going to put this pot up on there where I've got all the other plants. And then I'm going to do another bucket with um, with them and put it in the polytunnel. I've got this greenhouse here, like I've been saying, and it's not all I'm doing is using it for storage. Let me just um, quickly clip up this um, thing before it gets damaged again because that's what happened with the zip the last time. So I'm just going to do this and I'll be back with you in a minute. So I've got these pepper pepino melons and I'm going to put two in each bucket like I was saying before someone said to me that these are fast growing so I don't know much about them it's a first for me so they said um, they like um, koi so I'm going to put um, in, in the koi and um, a bit of compost you can see they're nicely rooted I heard that they're fast growing, so hopefully they'll stay in there and bush up and do whatever they want to do. And then what I'm going to do is just top it up back with the koi. And I think the koi helps to keep in the, the moisture and everything. Because I think they're like a bit of a... Um, moisture in, in the soil so that's why um, they said to use koi on it. Someone's saying can they have one of the plants? Well by the time this video comes out they would have all of um, gone where behind a lot on our videos as you can see because I've got other commitments as well so I've got to attend to those as well as um, as well as doing the the YouTube I do 
um, photography as well so I've got to um, be doing editing and everything as well like that so that's why our videos are a bit behind and I don't like to be dropping dropping videos I see some people dropping five six videos a day and, uh, and I don't think that's necessary on YouTube so I'm gonna do another bucket and I'll be back with you in a minute right everybody so I'm back at it again I've um, potted up another um, one of my pepino melons um, um, this one's going to go in a polytunnel let's, let's see what how quick it takes off if it takes off too quick and bushes out too quick then I'll just put it back up there right the other plants I've got I've got some more chilies lucky enough but not the ones what I wanted so but I have to just um, bear with this these are jalapenos and I think these are the ghost pepper so I'm going to be putting um, I'm going to put three in there and I'm going to do another um, smaller pot and just put a single one in there like what I, I did last time so into this I'm going to put three on the outside this is a jalapeno I'm just going to put that down in there, in there and just backfill it in this is the compost what you get what we get from our allotment gonna put a ghost one of these ghost pep, ghost ones in there as well one of these is um, a snack pepper yellow so I'm gonna put one of those in it as well so I've got three different ones in there what I'm gonna do I'm gonna um, put some um, horse manure on on the top of this in this um, leave it so I'll be back with you in a minute Right everyone, so I've got some um, manure I'm just back filling it with with that just on the top just to help retain some of the moisture what's in there this is well rotted manure so don't need to worry too much about it once you start watering this, this will settle down and, and move about a bit so Right, so that's a good layer of um, manure on that. So that's one out of the way. Got um, four of these um, pepinos planted up. See, I've still got some more. Right, so I've got a um, big pot here. I'm gonna put um, some of this compost. This one is a ghost pepper. I'm going to put this one in this pot. I'm going to find another bigger pot in a minute. So this one's going to have his own pot. Put that on the side so I know what it is. And this one I'm going to just top up with some of this koi. So if you're liking our videos, please remember to like, share and subscribe. I see everybody just watching. <laughs> watching, watching, watching and not subscribing and it would be a, of a great help to to us if you just press the button and subscribe if you want to leave any comments leave comments in the comment section we're off i'm off all the um, other um, ones i'm only using them now just to as a support for when i launch videos and that now so if you notice i'm not answering you you on um, any of the other platforms and it's because I'm off of them right so this one I'm going to put up here as well put that in the full sun I notice one side has got shade and one side has got full sun so I'm just putting them in the full sun right let me find another see if I've got another big one right so I've got another bucket here I'm not putting any um, blood fish and bone in these ones yet yeah and I've got another um, snack pepper here so I'm gonna put this one in there so I put this label at the side so I know what it is and I'm gonna fill this up with um, the koi as well and this is going up the top there as well because I don't know what's wrong with those I'm just gonna see which one comes up better the one in the pot or the ones what's in the ground 
the ones in the ground ain't doing so well for me this time so I think peppers are better off grown in containers but every time you get containers you've got to find a, the compost to go in there as well so that's another one this is going up the top as well I've got two aubergines and these are going up the top as well so that's my aubergines and I'm going to do the same thing with these put some koi on top to, to keep them moist or so that I know when the water's dried out of them right so once you water that that has settled down and move about right so that's the aubergines so I'm going to be back with you in a minute right everybody so I've got my aubergines planted and up the top there and I've got another smaller pot well it's not small it's more deep so it's going to get more roots going down and I'm going to put a single pepino in there with just koi so it's just koi in there I'm going to put that on on there as well and see what happens with that so this is just pure koi koi in there just want to leave a little lip so that when you water it doesn't just go all over the side like it usually does so this is just koi and a pe pepino melon in there if, I, if it goes down anymore I've always got koi on hand mixed up already to go in there right so what I want to do now got one one here and I've got another one I'm going to fill this up with some compost so I've got to fill up two of these with compost and then I'll be back with you in a minute right everyone so I've got two pots here it's getting a bit bruisy so I've got to be careful not to spread these seeds all over the place I've got some um, spinach giant winter spinach so I want to get these started from now so I can get them growing and then when I'm ready I can once I move those ones out of that bed then I can put these in in its place so I'm just dropping some getting some some of the seeds I'm going to do two pots of these just sprinkle some seeds around it might be a bit early for planting these but I don't know so I'm not really fast right everybody so um, we had a bit of um, battery failure on the camera the battery went dead and he didn't bring a spare one with him so I'm back home I'm in my garden so I'm just going to show you what's going on in my garden because everyone's asking if I'm not yeah I'm neglecting my garden a bit still got some planting space there I wanted to get some um, I've got some spinach and um, what I've just potted but I wanted to get some back try on that to go in here or for like later on so I've got that puppet to finish you can see what, what this is one of my sweet potatoes you can see it's starting to run now start that's starting to run that's the other one what I've got my this one starting to run as well these are brewery guards I think this is Jamaican one that's a Jamaican one and that's a uh, Hannah so I've got two brewery guards in this one this my sunflowers you can see they're coming on nicely flowering and sending off a lot of um, buds my onion, my shallots there I've started using them and everything already so and then my onions is in the other one these are my sugar snack peas you can see something's eating them out so got to come and check more often my tomatoes over there back what I planted are doing like okay they were small and thin and straggly when I put them in so I can see they're bushing up a bit and my pumpkins at the back coming on now starting to pick up and flower so I'm just going to leave them they were just extras I can see potatoes at the top of the buckets they're telling me that they're ready for for emptying out, I see everybody do their one but I wanted to leave my one a little 
longer because we don't really eat that many potatoes but I can see that they're telling me that they're ready to turn out so I've got to do that next this is another sweet potato Brazilian Brazilian and a Jamaican one again see it's starting to take off this is um, a yellow cool jets the small ball one that's starting to I've harvest some off of there already and it's still coming so you can see the one down there and then this is a crystal lemon cucumber what's on the side here it's just starting to come now because it it went down and it's coming up this is another bucket of peas my tomatoes I've got my peppers in here but this is this one's telling me that it, some of these I might have to take down the allotment and put on the top there because they're getting smothered by this. Didn't know that what was going to have. So then you can see my flowers and my lilies and everything coming out. Sorry about the um, thing. That grapevine, I chopped that down every year and it's still decided to grow. They've got the clothes hanged up. I can't get to show you the big um, plant there, what's um, flowered and that's what it is. I can see the rest of my flowers. I've got a big bucket of um, tomatoes down there, of um, lettuce down there, what I need to use up now. Then all my flowers are coming on leaps and bounds. My geraniums, you can see they're the nice white ones, nice bunches of red. My um, begonias in between, my costas, and some pink ones over over there. Everything's just coming on nice. Um, my succulent buckets there, they're coming on nice. My mints, something's um, attacked those, so the the leaves have gone all powdery. See my lilies at the back there. Um, I've got some pansies down in the front there. This is my other succulent. This is the one what I took some out and it's starting to flower now. But it's what it's doing. It's smothering the other ones and killing them. So this should have just gone in a bucket on its own. If I had known that it did that, I would have. But see, they're trying to survive and flower. But this has really smothered it. I took a load of it out. out. See everything underneath it's killed. All the ones underneath. So this should have went in a bucket on its own. And these are my wallflowers. You see the butterflies are out now. So you know you just got to watch out for caterpillars now. Oh yeah my peppers are down here. I don't remember if I showed you them. Right. So if you like in our videos, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell another friend. If you want to leave any comments, you can leave a comments in the comment section. We do get back to you on them. And I hope you're enjoying our videos. You take care of yourself and I'll see you all on the next one. Happy gardening to you all.